hello let's have a block um, tied to a string and resting very nicely on a slope what are the forces acting on the block there is of course the gravitational pull vertically downward there is of course the normal contact force that's the slope surface exerts on the block and the normal contact force by definition must act perpendicularly to the two surfaces next we have the frictional force which must act parallel to the two surfaces now should the frictional force be acting downward along the slope or upward along the slope well it depends on how strongly the rope is pulling on the block if the tension in the rope is so strong that the block is tending to slide upward then the frictional force will be acting downward to hold back the block on the other hand if the tension in the rope is very weak then the block will be tending to slide downward instead if that's the situation then the frictional force will be acting upward along the slope to again hold back the block from sliding down so let's just assume that the situation we have is that the tension is quite large uh, the block is tending to slide upward so the friction is acting in this direction to hold it back if we have to do any calculations it is easier if we resolve all the forces into two perpendicular components in a problem such as this uh, where we know that the resultant force if there is any will be along the slope we would prefer to resolve forces into a direction along the slope and of course the other one would, would be perpendicular to the slope so we are going to resolve all the forces into these two directions rather than vertically and horizontally in fact uh, tension and friction are already in the direction along the slope and normal contact force is already uh, in the direction perpendicular to the slope so the only force that we have to resolve is actually just mg so the components of mg parallel to the slope turns out to be mg sine theta theta is the angle of the slope and the components of mg perpendicular to the slope turns out to be mg cos theta if you have trouble resolving mg into the mg cos theta and sine theta um, maybe you want to try rotating the paper until the slope now becomes a horizontal surface and the weight is no longer a vertical force but a slanted force so now um, it's as if you want to resolve this non-vertical force into its vertical and horizontal components huh? so hopefully you can see the mg sine theta and cos theta and then after that you just rotate the paper back since the block is at rest the net force in the direction parallel to the slope ought to be zero so along this direction we have the tension up along the slope which must balance the mg sine theta the, which is the parallel components of the weight along the slope and the frictional force so the tension up along the slope is balancing the mg sine theta and the frictional force down along the slope likewise the net force in the direction perpendicular to the slope should also be zero so along this direction what we have is the normal contact force balancing the mg cos theta so the underlying principle is of course net force is zero but to make our calculations easier uh, we resolve everything into two directions one parallel and one perpendicular to the slope and that's how we solve such problems okay that's all ta-ta